Okay guys, last week I did a video about wanting to see Kenny Pickett drift more in and outside the pocket. I thought he did a couple of things well this game, building on that, so let's take a look. Here's from uh, the first drive in the game. Uh, once again, not knocking Pickett's mobility. The fact that he can even get out of the pocket here, create some space, go and pick up a few yards when the pocket's breaking down, great. but. You'll notice what we talked about last week is once you kind of get through that initial mess, you know, and you've got this space, why not take a minute to drift, check to see what might be coming open downfield before you necessarily take the space that's available. So in a vacuum, sure, you know, Pickett's got one defender over 10 yards away with a blocker in front. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, the first down is at the 25. Um, so he's got a long way to go. But in Pickett's mind, you know, he thinks, well, let me pick up a little bit of it. You know, gets downfield. These defenders close quickly. He's able to get up for a few yards. But let's take a look again. It's a long developing play. Pickett does a good job to buy some time in the pocket. Ducks that guy, and as he's clearing the pocket, that just becomes about the time when some of these deep routes develop. You can see Pickens has got a step here. You know, it might be worth Pickett just giving him a shot towards the back corner of the end zone. Um, but let's watch it in real time. Just notice Pickett goes from here escaping to immediately running. He's already got his head down looking downfield, whereas what hopefully maybe as coaches might suggest is, okay, once you break the pocket here, yeah, be aware of what space you have in front of you, but also maybe just do a, a you know, three-quarter speed jog rather than a full sprint while you check, and then if nothing comes available, then get upfield. All right, here's another play where Pickett does a really nice job actually drifting left so I wanted to show an example of when I thought he did a good job with the drift so you know pretty decent protection he doesn't see anything he likes he's going through his progressions you know um, he wasn't here early enough to have trust in it you know you never know um, if it's your last read maybe he doesn't fully trust it so he starts to break the pocket but I think he has a tendency to drift better towards his left let's watch the drift in real time here escapes the pocket you know nothing's really happening I would say maybe if he drifts further you know Deontay could work back which he will start to but at that point Pickett has seen enough grass in this case you know given that the first down is closer you can't really criticize him too much to have that first down in his mind um, but in general sure why not here drift a little towards the 40 I realize that's going to you know, create less chance of picking up the first down if nothing comes open. But, you know, um, just something to keep in mind as Pickett develops his mobility. Here's another example. Yeah, this was my favorite example where I would call this actually Pickett using a drift. So I mentioned he'll do it more to his left. So notice how he steps up and his immediate thought isn't to just get downfield. He's looking at Deontay deep. He's kind of hesitating. He's hoping something will come available. Then when it doesn't, you know, this defender is sticky. Now he chooses to pick up uh, the first down with the run. So let's take a look here from the start of the play. You know, again, uh, longer developing stuff. You know, this corner's got tight coverage. He doesn't want to jam it in there. He sees the, the space open up. Rather than just immediately scramble and panic to get as many yards as he can, he kind of floats over. He, you know, is confident that he saw this defender go by pretty wide. He's figuring he's got a little time. And, um, but he's, you know, he's not lollygagging, but he's not sprinting either. So that's what I mean by a drift. And I think even though it doesn't work out, you know, he's giving it a chance. And I think the more he does that, um, the more we'll see some kind of improv big plays down the field. I just like to see that, you know, he did do it. Like I said, he tends to maybe do it a little bit more to his left than his right here from the end zone cam. Stepping up, scanning, scanning, scanning. He's still got his arms in a throwing position. He checks back to the middle field, sees nothing, and then tucks the ball into a running position and stretches it over for the first down. 
Okay, one more look at something here. Oh, this was a really nice drift in the pocket that bought him some time, so I wanted to look at that. So you can see rush is coming, maybe a five-man rush. Um, Pickett feels the pressure, but rather than just bail or try to step up, he kind of drifts knowing that if I give this route a little bit of time, I might have the shot I'm looking for. He drifts enough to give himself enough time to catch Pickens here on the crossing route. Let's take a look from the end zone. Notice it's collapsing. He feels it. He feels it. Rather than trying to leave with his legs, he drifts for a little longer. Okay, last play we'll look at here. I know you guys already know all this one. Great play, two-point conversion. Um, you know, Pickett's drifting here. Um, I will say it's a sprint drift, but, you know, the point being he's using his legs, looking to find a man downfield rather than just immediately, you know, dive towards the pylon. Um, and because of his athleticism, he's able to do that in a dead sprint. If you guys saw the last video, you know that typically when he hits that dead sprint, he's not looking to throw it. In this case, he's got a lot of room. He's got a lot of time. He's able to kind of analyze while on the run and find space. Uh, Pickens in the back of the end zone. So um, I like the progress we've been seeing. Um, there was twice in this game where it seemed like Pickett drifted rather than just immediately um, tried to get upfield. And the times that he did, um, you know, he was successful. He picked up the first down on one of them.